What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you all so much for tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at this guy. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 2.0. This video is not an in-depth review. This video is an impressions video. What do I think of it? How do I like it? What might be important to me might not be important to you and vice versa. We're going to take it to the truck bed. Let's open up the box. I have not fired this gun yet but Jenna has. This was a gift for Jenna, something that she can use for concealed carry, CCW. I own a Glock 43 and I love that gun, but I saw this and I thought, why not something a little bit different before we do? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new videos. Mr. Big Kid is all about firearms and barbecue, firearm videos, just like this one today. Okay, well, here it is. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 2.0. Let's open it up. So first, I'm gonna comment on the packaging. I'm not blown away. It's a cardboard box. Um, it's kind of, they've gone kind of the way of Taurus. Then again, this is not a super expensive firearm. So if they're gonna save a lot of money by producing cardboard boxes versus nice plastic cases, that's fine. Just know when you buy this firearm, you're not gonna get a plastic carrying case, you're gonna get a cardboard box. The gun comes wrapped in a blue plastic with a foam back on it, and here's the firearm. You also get a little lock right here and a key. You get a chamber flag and an extra magazine. First things first, let's drop the magazine. Let's check to make sure it's clear which it is, so we're gonna lock this back. It looks like you have two magazines. One is a seven rounder, and then one is an eight rounder with a little extension. I have big hands, so this is a pretty nice magazine for me to use. We're gonna try them both though. Here's the firearm, it's very thin. It is single stack. It's a subcompact, so it's nice and small. Um, it has, I believe the 2.0 has increased slide serrations back here. You have a little window right on top of the chamber right there, so you can see if there's a round in the chamber. You also have a chamber indicator right on the side as well. It doesn't take much force to pull back the slide, which is nice. And takedown is pretty easy. All you have to do to take it down is rack it back and lock it. Then you turn this, then you release it, pull the trigger, and then there you go. You have it broken in half. You have your recoil spring right here, and then you have your barrel. You should be able to access all that to lubricate and clean. Reassembly is just as easy as disassembly. You pull it back, flip it forward, and there you go. So the trigger, let's check the trigger out real quick. Let's see. It's not bad, let's see the reset. That's a very long reset. Like this is not reset, this is just play. And that's reset right there. Not bad, it's a self-defense gun. This is not something you compete with. That being said, it's important that you be proficient with it. So let's load this thing up and let's test it out. First we're going to start with the 7 round magazine, Magtech 115 grain, nothing fancy. 7 rounds, let's see how it works. Water bottle up there, got it, water bottle, got it. That's, that's pretty impressive. 
gonna do a rapid fire. Very comfortable for a subcompact. This camera wasn't rolling. That sucks. We're gonna do another seven rounds. I love it. I'm gonna have to say, I think so far, I like it more than the Glock 43. As far as how you can control it, it's just comfortable. This thing's pretty cool. Sorry for the wind. It's it's just windy. <laughs> it's comfortable. I really like it. It just feels really good. For a subcompact, you're kind of expecting a little bit of, you know, rocking on your wrist, but um, this thing just really mitigates that really well. I don't know if that's anything in the recoil technology, the springs, um, possibly just the grip, the the longer grip with the uh, pinky extension on it. I, I don't know. Jenna shot it last time we went shooting and she said she really liked it, but it got so hot I just didn't feel like shooting anymore, so I didn't try it. In today's day and age, right now with this ammunition shortage and all that, reloading's pretty critical. I've got some of my favorite rounds that I've reloaded. This is basically 124 grain Barry's flat point, flat nose uh, bullets and I'm using HS6 powder and it works really well on my CZ SPO1 Shadow. I, I made these to fit the chamber perfectly. Um, however, I have fired these out of Glocks before and Glocks hate these rounds. They just, something about the chamber, flat point, I don't know. I've fired it out of a 19X, 19, uh, 17, they just don't like this round. So let's see how it fires out of the M&P Shield 2.0. Perfect. Perfection. So it likes the reloads too. That's a good thing for me. More practice for us. My first impressions of the M&P Shield 9 2.0. It fires well. I really like it. As far as the subcompact goes, I like it a whole lot more even than my Glock 43. I love that my Glock 43 feels like a little mini Glock, but this thing just fired. It shoots so much better. It feels more accurate. Accuracy really to me is who's behind the trigger. But what that means also to me is that I fire this thing way better than I fire my Glock 43. And my Glock 43 has, I have a lot more practice under my belt with the Glock 43 as well. So I don't know, I might look into getting one of these guys for myself as well and trading in the, trading in the old G43. I don't know for sure. I might keep it because I like guns and I don't like to get rid of them. It's light, it's comfortable, shoots well, and it's fired everything I put through it. I only did about 50 rounds today. Um, I am trying to preserve ammo, and it's just hot as hell out here. I just, I got a couple more videos to film. <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm sure you guys will see it in the channel more in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new content. The Mr. Big Kid channel is all about firearms and barbecue. There's an occasional family vlog or off video somewhere, but I just love posting content and making videos. So, hope you guys love the channel. Hope you guys love the videos and hope you guys have an awesome week. Be blessed. I will see you guys in the next one.